initiating moisture. Hey there, let's just get right into it. We don't need foreplay. I just want to immediately start talking about how bad Halloween Ends is. It's just a stinky load of trash. It is fucking terrible. Uh, as most of you know by now, Halloween Kills, which was the previous movie in this trilogy, I find to be an extremely enjoyable bad movie. The whole evil dies tonight thing, the man jumping off like the second floor of the hospital, then exploding when he hits the ground with like blood and guts and his legs are all mangled and shit. I, I think the movie is really enjoyably shitty. And of course there's that iconic scene in the car where Michael Myers like kills them, kind of, but mostly the people in the car start killing themselves by accident. So like the lady walks up to him, puts the gun next to his face and he just like opens the car door, hits her hand and she shoots herself. Like Halloween Kills is a fun shit movie. Halloween Ends is a shit movie without the side of fun. The only time this movie was like enjoyably bad was the intro, which I'm just going to spoil real quick. The intro of this movie has a guy babysitting this kid and then the kid plays a prank on him making him think Michael Myers is back so the kid puts like a knife on the stairs and starts yelling and screaming and then eventually he traps the babysitter in the attic. The babysitter freaks out, starts kicking the door and then he finally kicks the door a little too hard and it shoots it off the hinges at Mach 5. He blasted this thing like it got hit by a torpedo. So it launches off the hinges hitting the kid which sends him flying over the railing on the third floor, tumbling to his death below, where he lands and explodes as if he had just got hit by a bomb. Just blood and guts <laughs> flying everywhere. It sounds like someone just crushed five tomatoes for the sound effects, and his mom and dad walk home to see it happen. They're screaming like, oh, what have you done? It is so goofy. It is so good. Like, this babysitter had to be as strong as Goku to kick the door that hard. It was wild. And I was like, great. It's gonna be as silly as Halloween Kills, but then it's not. That's the only time that it's like fun, silly shit. From there, it takes itself way too seriously. It's extremely boring, and I feel like this movie was initially three hours long, but then they chopped it to an hour 50, because there are so many things that happen incredibly quick that it makes no sense to me. Lori's daughter immediately falls in love with the bad boy just from looking at him for a split second, and then she's extremely forward the entire time. She's like, my muffler's fucked up, and I want you to fix it, but I don't care about the muffler. Like, just, the, everything moves at light speed in this film. Also, for some reason, the babysitter is haunted by the local high school band club. Like, for some reason, every single time the babysitter's out in public, these four band members roll up in their, their convertible and start insulting him calling him a pedo and a murderer. I don't know why they even call him a pedophile. Like, the whole town thinks that he's a creep because of the killing of that kid, but he got let off because he was found to be an accident. But they keep following him around, calling him, like, a pedophile and shit. And somehow they're always there when he's out in public, and they're always wearing the exact same clothes, even though this takes place over many days. They're like cartoon characters, like me, always wearing the same outfit. They're always rolling up in their convertible. One of them's always twirling a drumstick. It's so silly. But it's not silly enough to make it fun. It just becomes grating every time they show up. But by far the biggest disservice this film does to the franchise is they make Michael Myers a bitch. Michael Myers in the last movie at the very end is like, He's the incarnation of evil. Pure, unstoppable evil. The boogeyman in your nightmare. The hemorrhoid in your butt. It's Michael Myers, and he'll stop at nothing until evil spreads like a plague. And in this movie, he's just hiding in the sewers, and he's, like, really, really weak. I, I, I don't know who cares about spoilers. I'm still going to try and avoid them to the best of my ability. But Michael Myers is, he's like a, an injured, wounded animal. So he's in the sewers. Eventually, the babysitter finds him, and for some reason, Michael Myers lets him go. And then the two become like a buddy cop team where Michael Myers is like training the babysitter. I think the idea was by looking into Michael Myers' eyes, his evil possessed the very soul of the babysitter. But that that's still not good. Like it's still dumb to look at. Why all of a sudden does Michael Myers look inside of him and take him under his wing like a like a son? It's, it's still stupid. They make Michael Myers not scary or cool or intimidating in here 
And Michael Myers himself actually doesn't do anything at all in this movie. Like, pretty much nothing. He has only, like, two scenes. The rest is spent elsewhere on things nobody cares about. Like, I, I felt like I was watching, a, like, a TV filler episode for the majority of this movie. It's just so uninteresting and not good. It, like, it focuses more on the relationship between Lori's daughter and the babysitter. And how dumb she is in relationships with red flags. Because the babysitter says all kinds of weird shit. He has these big outbursts and these huge meltdowns over small things. And somehow it turns her on and then they just fuck afterwards. It's just the vast majority of the film is spent like a soap opera romance. And then the ending is Halloween-esque. There are enjoyable kills at the end when stuff actually happens. Like the way he kills... A guy with cutting his tongue off and then having it rotate around a spinning record on air is cool, I guess. Like, there are, like, fun moments and there are some, like, gory kills, but only at the very end. After you spent, like, an hour and 40 minutes of just watching a shit relationship develop. Like, I don't think any, I want to make it clear, I don't think any of the actors or anything did a bad job. It looks like they all really tried, especially the babysitter. Like, Corey, his name's Corey in the film. Like, he does a good job, especially since he is the main character of this movie. Lori is in it a lot more than she was in the previous one, but still, I wouldn't even consider her the main character here. Michael Myers is barely in it. He's only in it at the end, really, with, like, glimpses of him early on when he's, you know, patting Corey on the ass and showing him how to kill people. I also think the ending fight between Lori and Michael Myers is actually good. Because you're never sure if Lori's going to die or if Michael's going to die or anything. And I think that just makes it have higher stakes that worked pretty well for it. It was a satisfying fight that was well done. It's just really this movie is two different films that they slap together. Then I don't think they work. I feel like the idea here of like a weird guy who got an unlucky break with accidentally killing the kid he was babysitting. And you know, is he really evil? Is he really a psychopath? You know, what's going to break him? Did the town turn him into a psycho? Could have been an interesting idea if it was executed better, but it's not. They don't even really, like, they touch on it, but they don't really put a whole lot of effort into developing that theme. It, again, just falls into focusing on, like, a romance that blossoms poorly. It's just not good. It's really not good. And it's certainly not good as, like, a Halloween horror movie or anything. Because it's not, like I said, it's not even really a horror movie. There's only, like, four scenes of violence everything else is romance and uh tension's the wrong word because they don't build tension but watching a, a man be weird just an old putrid pile of shit unfortunately plugging halloween ends into the moist meter i'm giving it a cool 25 percent uh real shame i was expecting it to go as hard as halloween kills and really lean into the over the top violence and like comical action you know, Michael Myers is just this fucking killing machine that's creatively executing everyone in town for seemingly no reason, an unstoppable force of of pain and misery. But that's not here. That's that's not this movie. This movie is mainly like a romance film overall, which makes no fucking sense for it. That's really about it. So yeah.